In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the 30th Sunday celebrations. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. Receive a prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope and charity and make us love what you command. 
so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not wrong or oppress a re resident alien, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. You shall not abuse any widow or orphan. If you do abuse them, when they cry out to me, I will surely heed their cry. My wrath will burn, and I will kill you with the sword. And your wives shall become widows, and your children orphans. If you lend money to my people, to the poor one among you, and you shall not deal with them as a creditor, you shall not exact interest from them. If you take your neighbor's cloak in pawn, you shall restore it to that person before the sun goes down. For it may be their only clothing to use as cover. In what else shall that person sleep? And if that person cries out to me, I will listen, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Responsorial song. Psalm number 18, your response is, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what kind of persons we prove to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord. 
For in spite of persecution, you received the word with joy, inspired by the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. The Word of the Lord. my words and my father will love them and we will come to them According to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Dear brothers and sisters, in an interview, one of the Indian philosophers, Swami Vivekananda, was asked how to attain God. He replied, Love itself is God. Win the enmity with love. When you love your neighbor and you will see God. Jesus laid down the complete definition of religion. The first commandment Jesus quotes from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 that is, You must love the Lord your God with your whole heart and your whole soul and your whole mind. That verse was part of the Shema, the basic and essential creed of Judaism, the sentence with which every Jewish service 
still opens and the first text which every Jewish child commits to memory. It means that to God we must give a total love, a love which dominates our emotions, a love which directs our thoughts and a love which is the dynamic of our actions. All religion starts with a love which is total commitment of life to God. The second commandment which Jesus quotes comes from the book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 that is you must love your neighbor as yourself. How do we love God with all our heart, soul and mind? It is not just reciting rosaries and all kinds of prayers and going for pilgrimages. We need prayers but it must lead us to love everyone in the world. God's will is that we should love everyone seeing God in our neighbor. There once was a farmer who grew award-winning corn. Each year he entered his corn in the state fair where it won a prize. One year a newspaper reporter interviewed him and learn something interesting about how he grew it. The reporter discovered that the farmer shared his seed corn with his neighbors. The reporter asked the farmer, how can you afford to share your best seed corn with your neighbors when they are entering corn in competition with each year. The farmer said, the wind picks up pollen from the ripening corn and swills it from field to field. If my neighbors grow inferior corn, cross pollination will steadily degrade the quality of my corn. If I am to grow good corn, I must help my neighbors grow good corn. The farmer was very much aware of the connectedness of life. His corn cannot improve unless his neighbor's corn also improves. So, it is with our lives. Those who choose to live in peace must help their neighbors to live in peace. Those who choose to live well must help others to live well too. The lesson for each of us is this. If we are to grow good corn, we must help our neighbors grow good corn. Let us all love those that cross our paths. Amen. Please stand for the creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins.
Our Heavenly Father knows our many needs. In faith, we come before Him and humbly ask that He grant our prayers. For the Church, that she may continue to guide the people of God in truth and holiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for nations with advanced health resources, that they will share them freely with those ill-equipped to deal with the coronavirus pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have responded to God's call to spread the good news through missionary activity around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the youth of the world, as they search for the living God, that they may grow in faith and be living witnesses to the power of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died, that they share the banquet of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Now let us pray for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we rejoice in your presence and we ask your mercy. Hear our prayers and keep us faithful to your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and your words may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes In the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and bread of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church, spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jean Paul our Diocesan Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Grant Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those caught to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great day.